Welcome to Calvary Conversations. My name is Mariah, and I'm here all by myself, but Morgan is in the podcast room recording me, so woo-woo, Morgan's over there, Pastor Morgan. So anyway, I am going to just be sharing with you guys some updates. I'm going to be sharing you got, with you guys about like the guest speaker we're having, special guest speaker on November 14th. So I'm just going to give you updates, and we're going to chat, and yeah, so let's get into it. So first, like I said, November 14th, our guest speaker is, drum roll, blah, 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 Brian Sumner, and he was on our podcast, and actually, I'm going to pull it up right now, what episode it was, but Brian Sumner, um, he was, or still is, kind of a professional skateboarder. He has amazing testimony. He was with, like, Tony Hawk and all that stuff, but he is going to be coming to our church, Calvary Ora Valley, on November 14th. So that is a Sunday and we are super stoked for that. He's actually lives in California, but he'll be coming here. So episode 29 and episode 30. So you can go back and watch that. I'll have those in the description below and you guys can purchase his book, which is love never fails. Also have that in the description below because he'll be talking about marriage. So I'm really excited about that. He will be sharing his testimony, talking about marriage. So please make sure to mark that in your calendars, November 14th. And that is a Sunday. And so he will be there for our 11 a.m. service or our 9 a.m. service and our 11 a.m. service. So both services. So you guys can come to both if you would like. And then he's also coming to a 6 p.m. service that night, a special service where we're going to be having like a Q&A style. And so we'll be asking him questions. So, yeah, I'm really excited for that. You guys can start sending in your questions right now about marriage. You can send that into Calvary OV at calvaryov.org. You can also go to Instagram. So if you guys didn't know, we have an Instagram where I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff and I do a lot of Instagram lives like I'm kind of talking right now. I'll do videos like this, just give, keep you guys updated. So go to Instagram and just type in Calvary Conversations and then follow us so you guys can get all the updates. But he'll be coming. We're really excited about that. And some other fun things is that um, we're having our Harvest Festival coming up. And so we usually have that as an Halloween alternative. And we'll do a video soon about talking talking about why we don't celebrate Halloween. But we did a video with Stephen Bancars and it was like a Q&A. So I'll have that in the description below as well. Maybe we'll just do a rerun of that. Um, but I also wanted to give you guys uh, some resources because you guys always ask for like resources and books that we like and music and stuff like that. So I'll give you guys a few. I don't know if you guys want it, but here you go. I mean, some people have asked, but my favorite book is A.W. Tozer, The Pursuit of God. So I've read this once, but I'm actually reading it again. And I have a book where it has like all the collections of A.W. Tozer in his books. So make sure you guys get this book if you don't have it already. And then another one, these are all the books I've read because I don't want to show you books I haven't read, but The Pilgrim's Progress. This is really good. I had to read this in school, but I got to read it, but it's really good. And this book is, I think, right, Morgan? This is one of the um, most sold books besides the Bible. Because, I mean, it was written, like, a long, long time ago, um, like 300 years ago or something like that. I don't know. But this is an amazing book. I'll also put the link below of the movie. There's a, a movie. There's, like, the animated one, but then there's, like, a real-life live-action version. That one's my favorite. And then also, I haven't, like, read through the whole thing, but I read, like, I read, like, a few of the stories throughout my day, kind of like a devotional. And so this is Hearts of Fire. This is eight women. So story of women missionaries and stuff and their stories. Um, I mean, not all missionaries, but women who have been martyred. So this is amazing. I think it's free actually on Voice of the Martyrs. You guys can get it. I mean, I got it for free, but you guys can get this book. It's amazing. It's really inspiring. And then this one, uh, Joshua Lewis actually recommended this and Stephen Bancar's. Joshua Lewis, um, his podcast is actually playing right now as I speak, but it will be next week. So his episode, I think it was episode, 
think it's 73, but Joshua Lewis, he was talking about how this book really helps you guys understand and break down um, the spiritual gifts. So if you haven't already gotten this book, go get it. It's by Dr. Sam Storms. I mean, he likes to go by Sam Storms, but we had him on the podcast and this book, it really does break down everything with the gifts and explains like tongues and prophecy. And it talks about like the debate with cessationists and continuationists. So a cessationist basically means that they believe that gifts have ceased, that um, basically their gifts are not for the church anymore. And so ceased. But um, Joshua Lewis, he talks a lot about the spiritual gifts. So go back and watch those video and that podcast if you haven't already. And then it also talks about, um, yeah, I said discerning spirits and healing miracles and stuff like that. So if you haven't already, go get this book. It's amazing. And then this one I just started reading, so I haven't finished it, but lots of good recommendations. We actually had Elisa Childers on the podcast and she recommended this book, Tactics. And so this is by Greg Kokel or Gregory. And this is really good for basic apologetics and explaining um, like why we believe what we believe, the basics and right the apostle creed and everything that we need to like people have like tough questions and stuff that they ask about the Bible and like, how is the Bible accurate? If all these people, you know, wrote it and stuff. And so it explains all that stuff answers all the tough questions and it breaks it down and is like simple. It's easy for me to read. So I encourage you guys to check this one out, but I haven't finished it yet. So just letting you know. And then Okay, so these are bringing back the old school books of the guests that we've had on the podcast. So I already said Brian Sumner's book, go get his book, Love Never Fails. It's like a 30 day devotional on marriage and like courting. And if you're um, not, if you're single, if you're wanting to, if you are courting or you're wanting to court and engagement, marriage, all that stuff. But also Stephen Mankar's book, right? Second Coming of the New Age. He and Josh Peck wrote it. Josh Peck, not the actor Josh Peck, but Josh Peck. Um, he's the one who was talking about um, child sex trafficking and all that that's going on. He was actually on last year, right before um, Halloween. So if you haven't seen that episode, I encourage you also to go back and watch that episode with Josh Peck. That was really eye-opening and um, let me see. If you guys haven't already subscribed please subscribe. That really helps us. Um, But also it helps you guys to always stay updated when we, a video comes out and we have our Sunday service that comes out. We have our podcast, we have a Wednesday service. So we have a lot of um, videos and resources that you guys can get. But um, so yeah, Joshua Lewis, I mean, Joshua Lewis, Josh Peck. um, Let me find what... The Darker Side of Sex Trafficking, episode 27. So go back and watch episode 27 with Josh Peck. That was really good. And get the book if you haven't already. And then also we've had Okongo Sampson on the podcast before. And this is his new book that came out kind of recently, but this is his testimony. And if you guys haven't listened to his testimony, we interviewed him. So you guys can go back to episode 37. So get this because this is an amazing story and he was abducted and all this stuff. And he, um, he's just powerful testimony. This man definitely has a heart for the Lord and missions. And he, the people who even raped him, he went to them and shared Jesus with them. This guy is bold. He's amazing. He loves the Lord. And yeah, so go get his book abducted, but not forsaken. And all this I'm saying, I'll put in the description so we'll have all of that. All right. So another thing that I'm really excited about is we're going to be having an episode which will come out next week and we'll be explaining the rapture. So a lot of times people are like, okay, why is the rapture real? The Bible doesn't even say the word rapture in it. And that's true, but the Bible also doesn't say Trinity or the Bible. But um, where we get the word rapture is in 1 Thessalonians uh, 4, and it talks about being caught up. And the Greek word is harpazo, but the Latin word is rapturo. So that's where we get the word 
rapture, being caught up in the air. So we're going to share the timeline. So next week, join us at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we'll be talking about the rapture and explaining why we are pre-trip, pre-mill. And this is nothing to like debate about or get frustrated because it's not salvific, which is a fancy word for saying it has nothing to do with to affect your salvation. But I believe why it is important, especially as I believe we're in the last days of the end times is first John three, three, it says all who have this hope, hope, right. That God can come back at any moment, the blink of an eye. Um, all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. So it really helps you be ready at all times, not just for death, but that the Lord can take us home at any moment. And the reason why he takes us home is because then there's going to be the seven year tribulation. And we learn about it in revelation that that is the wrath of the lamb, the wrath, wrath of God. And so we're going to explain about this all next week. I'm not going to get into it because Pastor Craig, my dad's not here. So I don't want to get into it, but I'm just giving you guys a little sneak peek, a little preview to get you guys excited for next week to tell your friends to subscribe and watch this video. Um, well, watch next week's video or podcast. But we are really excited because a lot of churches don't talk about prophecy and 27 to 30% of the Bible is prophecy prophecy. So it's really sad that churches don't talk about this stuff and we don't have to debate whether or not you should. Some people are like pre-trip, um, mid-trip, post-trip, like all millennial, all that stuff. We'll explain all those things, but we'll explain why biblically we are, you know, pre-trip, pre-mill, which the timeline, I'll give it to you guys really quick, is you're caught up. So there's the rapture. Then there's the seven year tribulation where that's God pouring out his wrath. But when you're caught up, it's believers, Christians who are caught up. So that can be anyone, Jews and Gentiles, because sometimes people think that we're like replacement theology, which we're not. We are supportive of Israel. We believe that those are his chosen people and we have not replaced Israel. And so nothing like that. But we are just really excited because... God's coming for his people, Jews, Gentiles, believers, the church. So read Revelation. I encourage you guys just to do your homework beforehand. We're going to read the passages um, next time, but I encourage you guys to read um, all of Revelation, right? Um, I just did that recently. And if you can go back to my dad, he did, um, he went through the book of Revelation. I think it took him like almost two, two years. He went really in deep, in depth, in deep, in depth with that. So you guys can go back and watch those videos and the playlist under Revelation. So go watch those videos. We're actually on Wednesday night at our church, Calvary Valley, um, on Wednesdays from seven to eight thirty PM, we are going through the book of Daniel, which Daniel is like one of the most prophetic books. And it's so amazing that we're able to study this book now. And it's just really cool how everything has been coming together because everyone's been asking me about like end time stuff. And then I've actually been studying this stuff with my dad. So it's really cool, but I'm really excited for Daniel. And we are going to, um, talk about, um, like obviously a lot of end time stuff, but we do believe we're in the last days and that we believe it's going to get worse when, and that's why God's going to have to come back and take us or take us back. Second coming's different. I'll explain. But I'm really excited because we believe that even though it gets worse, that doesn't mean we stop and we're like, okay, he's coming back. So I can just live how I want. No, we're ready. We're like that bride that's prepared and ready for his return. So um, I encourage you guys also, I'm saying a lot of resources, but to go watch the movie before the wrath that is with, um, what's his name? Jack Hibbs, Pastor Jack Hibbs of Calvary Chapel, Chino Hills, um, Jan Markle and J.D. Farag, um, and then Amir Zafadi, and um, yeah, but also go check out Pastor James Cadiz. We did an episode with him. I'm going to see what episode it is, but it'll all be in the description below. I'm going to have a lot linked down below, but Pastor James Cadiz, um, he's a Calvary pastor, but he does a lot of end time stuff and he is episode 46. So go watch that episode. We talk about eschatology, which is just another fancy word for end times. And we talk about like Bible prophecy in the last days and all that. So 
go check that out um, before you watch our podcast. And I also have links of other videos I recommend, like of Jack Hibbs. But that movie, Before the Wrath, is amazing. And so anyway, going back, we're going to be caught up. Seven year tribulation, God pouring out his wrath. And then the Antichrist, oh, Antichrist, Antichrist. Oh my goodness, words. I just butchered that. The Antichrist. Um, he will reveal himself and then, right? And then there's going to be like the, well, before that, there's going to be the two witnesses. Some people think it's like, um, Elijah, some people think it's Enoch and, and Moses and whatever, but we'll talk about that more. And then, um, the antichrist. And then there's like the abomination of desolation and then all that stuff. And then that's after the seven year tribulation, that's when the second coming and that's when Jesus comes back. And then, um, that's when the believers and those go into the millennium kingdom and then that's a thousand year reign, which we believe it's a literal thousand years. And then those who are saved or those who are caught up and stuff and died. And then with Jesus, they will be ruling and reigning with him. We're not going to be like gods or little gods, but that'll be for a thousand years. And then, yeah. So that's the gist of it. That's pre trip pre mill. And there's other things and end time things, but that's what we believe. And we'll give you all the verses next week of why we believe that biblically. So again, right, we believe this stuff because it really gives you an idea and just an excitement that God could come back at any moment. But for those who aren't living right, that should be right fearful and we should be afraid. But if you are living right for the Lord, you should be excited like the hippies were, right? Saying Maranatha, the Lord's coming. And actually I just heard from Jack Hibbs that Enoch was the one who was kind of the founder of that word because he kept saying that. So good old Enoch, he was the one who walked with God, right? And was no more. But anyway, so if you want, I mean, by the time you guys see this, we'll already be answering all the questions, but you guys can always send in your questions. And again, I said, go to Instagram, send in your questions and message me there. Put them in the comments below in this video. You can also email me at calvaryov at calvaryov.org. And we'd love to hear your feedback also on the podcast and just guests that you would like to have on and topics you would like us to talk about. We're going to have a lot more testimonies of people in our church. So testimonies from within. So I'm super excited what God's doing with the podcast. And yeah, I'm excited to talk about the end times next week. And what else do I have for you guys? I was going to say, I think I've said a lot, but last thing, I encourage you guys, Morgan was reading some things from Oswald Chambers when we were having our worship practice, but I encourage you guys to go get that book, uh, My Utmost for His Highest, because that is a really good devotional. There's a lot of weird devotionals out there nowadays. We discourage the book Jesus Calling, right? Because Sarah Young, she's kind of more new age. Well, she really is. So a lot of people get that book, but we actually have a video with Doreen Virtue and she talks about why Sarah Young is basically new age. And so that is episode 31 with Doreen Virtue. And she also talks about the Enneagram and why that's not good and stuff. So we have a lot of amazing guests that we've interviewed in the past. So if you guys are new to Calvary Conversations, please go check those out and subscribe if you want to. That'd be awesome. Um, what else is I going to say about that? Oh, devotional. My Utmost for His Highest by Oswald Chambers. It's really encouraging. Um, well, it also is very convicting. It was like one of the most convicting because a lot of times we go to devotionals um, in the morning to like encourage us, but it's so convicting, but it's so good. That's what we need nowadays. We need not just more fluff. We need conviction from the Holy Spirit. And I have really been seeing that a lot of us um, aren't really fearing the Lord. We don't have a godly fear. So I encourage you guys to read the Bible and not just pick and choose what you want, but to just Pray and ask God what book he wants you to read and just start reading it and let the Holy Spirit convict you. And even if you're convicted, don't take it as condemnation. Realize, right, that's the Holy Spirit. And then you can't just be a hearer of the word. You have to be a doer. So pray that the Lord will help you then walk that out, even if it's difficult. And 
a lot of times I think the reason why we don't want to read the Bible is because obviously we get distracted. So pray against distraction, but because we know that if we read something and we're convicted, then we should do it, right? What a man knows to do and doesn't do it, it's a sin. So just encourage you guys to read the word, um, not get caught up in social media. So right after this video, go read the Bible, go spend time with the Lord. Um, also, if you guys just don't know where to start, I always encourage everyone start in the book of John, or you can go along with our study that we're doing in Daniel. And you guys can get the study um, in our on our website, calvaryov.org. So you guys can follow along. You guys can come. You can just watch it online and do the study. We have questions um, that you guys can answer. And we encourage you guys to come to our church. If you guys don't have a church home, um, obviously, if you have your own church home, don't be coming to two churches. Stick with one. Be faithful to one and serve there. But if you guys don't have a church home, we encourage you guys to visit us. Um, you guys can look up our website, calvaryov.org, and get our address 6901 north lock and yada drive tucson arizona 85704 you guys can visit us and we would love to have you come worship with us um i also just really want to encourage you guys to read the proverbs of the day if you guys want also some more encouragement and you don't want to get like you don't want to get a book or a bible study but just start with the Proverbs of the day. There's 31 chapters in Proverbs and there's no more than 31 days in a month. So I encourage you guys to do that. But I'm gonna end this video. I know I've been going long and ranting, but I'm thankful that Pastor Morgan, he's not here right now, but he's there over there recording me. Thankful for Morgan. I'm thankful for all the pastors here. Thank you guys for your prayers. Um, for my mom, she's doing better. Um, my mom got COVID and she has stage four metastasized breast cancer. So that was difficult for her lungs, but her lungs are doing better, but continue prayers for her. Um, the reason why I'm also doing this video is because we were supposed to interview Dr. Michael Heiser, but he actually, um, has been diagnosed with cancer and is doing chemo treatments. So prayers for him as well. He asked, um, us to pray for him and we were going to be talking about aliens and all that, but you guys can check out his stuff with Dr. Michael Heiser. He's awesome. And we did an episode with him. So go back and instead of binge watching Netflix, go watch Calvary Conversations. Also, I don't, I don't know if you guys know this, but we're not just on YouTube. So if you guys are just watching us on YouTube, if you would like to listen to us on Spotify or anything like that, and just in your car or whatever, go follow us on Spotify. Also on Apple Podcasts or like anywhere, honestly. Anywhere there's podcasts, we're on everything. So especially on iTunes, maybe give us like a five-star review, make a comment or something. That would be very much appreciated. And also, if you like to support Calvary Conversations, that would be awesome. You guys can do that in the description below so that we can get more amazing guests, right? We're having Brian Sumner, and then we're also having Charlie Kirk, hopefully in the new year. So we're part of Turning Point Faith. So hopefully he can come sometime February, March. I'm still talking to his people about that. But so we can have more amazing guests that you guys can meet in person. And so support Calvary Conversations. That would be a blessing. You guys can give a one-time gift. You guys can give um, just like a monthly giving. And so what you do is you go to the description below, click on support, and then you can just give online. Um, also, if you'd like to be a sponsor of Calvary Conversation, if you have a business, you guys can email me and I'd love to have you have a sponsor. I will be able to promote you guys on our social media, on our website, um, also during the podcast and you get a free t-shirt and yeah, stuff like that. And we're going to get more merch and stuff. So I'm excited about that, especially we have our t-shirts to so go below and get a t-shirt, but um, we're going to start selling t-shirts here at the church and then get like stickers and stuff. See that? logo right there we're gonna get stickers of that so yeah um so our sponsor for this video and just for calvary conversations our main sponsor is mission heating and cooling and you know they do ac and stuff and heating so in tucson you need ac and when it gets cold you're gonna want your heat so go check them out in the description below go to their website and they have like amazing deals and stuff and they're Christian. They're a Christian family and they're an awesome family. So go support them and go check them out. And that would be awesome. So I think that's it. I love you guys. I'm thankful for you. And I know this video is kind of scattered, but again, 
November 14th. That's a Sunday. Mark that in your calendars. Brian Sumner is coming to Calvary Valley. So come to our 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and a 6 p.m. service with a Q&A. Send in your questions. Follow us on Instagram. And yeah, I think that's it. Thanks so much, guys, and God bless. Thank you.